Hi, I'm Emma Carroll, the author of The Somerset Tsunami. And today, Olive and I are going around various locations in Somerset to look at places that are mentioned in the novel. Uh, we're starting here at Kingston Seymour, which is the lovely old church. It's famous because of the church tower, which features in some of the woodcuts of the scenes of the flooding. It also was flooded very badly. Apparently there were fish swimming in the aisles of the church. January 20th, 1606, an inundation of the seawater by overflowing and breaking down the sea banks happened in this parish of Kingston Seymour. The water in the church was five feet high and the greatest part lay on the ground for about 10 days. We're here on Barrow Beach, which is where Barrow Hall, the fictional home of Susanna and Ellis Spicer, is situated. The sea has very conveniently disappeared, as it would have been in the moments before the tsunami hit this stretch of beach in 1607. But we're not expecting a tsunami. This is a very tidal part of the Bristol Channel. We're here at Glastonbury Tor. It's the furthest point inland that the floodwaters reach, which is a considerable distance from the sea. It's about a good 14 miles from the coast at Barrow. In my story, a couple of very dramatic scenes happen at this location. It also features on the cover of the book. This is a really, really familiar landmark to people who live in Somerset, and it's a very strange and evocative place. here in Bridgewater in Somerset at the Snug Bookshop and we've chosen Bridgewater because it's where our main character Fortune goes to a hiring fair where she lands the job of a servant for a man called Mr Spicer who needs her to roughen up, shall we say, his son Ellis. The fact that this very very dramatic flood happened would have probably been a very bewildering, very confusing thing for the people at the time because they had no sort of sense of what geological things might have caused it. I think the alarming nature of that would have made a, a very God-fearing nation probably start to look skywards, if you like, for a reason why this thing had happened. The idea of witchcraft sort of came along and I thought, okay, so maybe my main character is actually then somebody who is perhaps blamed for what happens with this natural disaster. Quite a lot of the research involved looking at things online, looking at accounts that people had written, the geography of the area, looking at how this, how far the sea had come inland, all those sorts of things. So there's quite a lot of historical stuff, quite a lot of geographical um, research as well, and the trusty notebook. So every time I write a book, I buy a notebook, and in that notebook will be the essence of the story. Mm -hmm. 